What's going on YouTube? Champion Productions back at you with another Transformers video review. And today, I'll be taking a look at the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Trilogy Voyager Class Soundwave. Now, this figure's review has been delayed. It's just been delayed. I haven't sat down and done the review. But let's go ahead, take a quick look at the packaging. It's got your Siege War for Cybertron stuff going on along the front. Uh, just your same old stuff. Transformers, um, come around to this side. You've got uh, all that awesome uh, art, uh, box art going along the side here. Um, coming around to the back of the box, you have um, Soundwave in his robot mode, his aircraft carrier-like jet mode thing that he converts in 25 steps, and that, he's, uh, that he can interact with the Battle Masters. And the Micro Masters, which is Ravage and Laser Beak. So I have not yet found those, but whenever they do come out, I hope to review them. And yeah, uh, coming around to the top of the box, it's just your generic uh, Siege stuff. Now, one thing I do want to talk about real quick is the side of the box. It's got that awesome um, art, uh, box art, on the side of Soundwave himself. But whenever you hit the side, this side of the box with a black light, I'll post a picture of what it looks like. There is a hidden mode, and I'm going to try to show it. I don't have a black light on me. But you can see and make out like a hidden mode there, which is actually a G1 reference to when he had a lamppost as his alternate mode, which is really unique. Um, cool that they included that. He does come with three different accessories for if you include the instruction manual. The first being his rocket launcher, grenade launcher, whatever you want to call it. Uh, some form of rocket launcher of sorts. Very nice. He comes with this, which looks like a uh, just like your little like a little canister thing uh, with a little little barrel coming out the front. But if you push this button in the back, it sticks out the barrel, and you can extend it to make a G1 in, uh, inspired blaster. And I think that's really cool how they did that. How they engineered that into the like this little sort of like a rocket launcher uh very similar to this so very very cool then he comes with this uh generic shotgun like thing which extends or folds out in the center so you can combine the gun so if you take the missile launcher here and you plug that into the barrel if you plug the back into the barrel and then you take this with the barrel extended out and you plug that into this. I don't even know what this is, guys. Like, are you supposed to hold it this way? Or is it this way? Or is it a staff? I don't... We're just going to move on. Uh, it will baffle me for like the next 30 years. Um, <laughs> then he comes with his instruction manual, which... Why does he have the Bay... The Bayverse Decepticon logo on his chest. I don't know. Um, yeah. So taking a look at Soundwave in his aircraft jet thing. It looks good. We're just going to call it a jet instead of aircraft jet thing. But it looks good. All, I like all the dry brushing going along the side and then on the top here. And it's just a very nice upgrade. And I got to admit, it's better than that Combiner Wars, or no, not Combiner Wars, excuse me, Titans Return Soundwave and the new Bumblebee movie Soundwave that came out. I mean, it's a nice little, uh, um, it's a nice, uh, fresh redo of the old G1 Soundwave, if you know what I mean. It's... It's a nice Voyager class scale, um, and it just looks good. I like it. I like all the metal wash going along the top and along the front here, and it goes along the side. Uh, it does have a little bit of kibble, or he does have a little bit of kibble going along the underside here, but stuff I can ignore. And he does have a little tower up there, which is actually an included little piece. So for size comparison, here we have him next to Siege Hound, which I think this is no, no. The way I look at it, this is built for Micro Masters, but if you take Siege at Sky Tread, that's still just humongous. If this is like a, I don't know, I, you can just use your imagination there. And then here he is next to Siege Sky Tread's tank form, which is about a Legends esque, Legends ish, excuse me, a Legends ish sized tank. So, yeah. 
Let's go ahead and get Soundway transformed into his lamp, uh, lamp post mode, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, yeah. So to transform them, what you're going to do is take these landing gear pieces on the side and fold them up, just like so. And then what you're going to want to do is come around to the underside here and just split this, just like so. Then you'll come to the top here, or yeah, you'll come and separate these pieces like so and it will sort of just fold in half and then you can sort of see where this is going then after that you can fold the arms up a little bit further and the just hinge that like that then you'll take this section here it will fold out and then that will allow you to fold up these engines and fold them up onto the back Oh wait, I forgot we're going into lamp post mode. So, <laughs> what you're going to do is fold this tower up. And then, after that, you're just going to take this and fold it right back on top. That will allow you to tab the arms into place. And take them, fold them back. Rotate these little pieces like so. And there's a little, I'm trying to show it. There's a little tab hole right there and a little tab on the back of his, um canopy thing and you're just gonna you're just gonna sort of fiddle with that for a moment until you can get everything lined up it's not going to tab in like perfectly and securely but it does tab into place and rest just like so then you're going to come back to the legs here and you're going to fold these panels down and then this is a cool part you're going to take this fold it out fold the foot down fold this panel back up and fold that into the leg and then rotate it. So repeat. And after that, here we have Siege Soundwave in his completely random but cool lamppost mode. This mode is just completely random, but I love the G1 reference going on here. Okay, it's not perfect. It's their uh, size comparisons, Siege Hound and Skytread. It's a lamppost. It's, I don't, <laughs> it's the most random, out of all the toy lines as well, like, why didn't they incorporate this into Titan's Return? It's, it's just completely random. Posability is in the legs. You can angle him like that, but then he's not stable, so you just get him hunched over however you like. And uh, there you go. So let's get him transformed into robot mode. The robot mode transformation is not that hard. Um, you take the hands, fold them, and rotate them out. Or the arms, anyway. You fold, rotate. Then you can come to the inside of the arms, or the forearms, and rotate out the hands. Just like so. Then take this backpack piece and fold it. It's on a double hinge, so I'll allow you to hinge that down. Then there is a little piece that, like a panel right here that opens up. That will allow you to fold out the head. And you just fold all that back up. There's a little tab hole on the side of or on his shoulder. You just plug that rocket launcher right into place. And here we have Transformers Siege Soundwave in his robot mode. In robot mode, it looks very nice. It's so refreshing, this Siege line. After all the Studio Series we, uh, figures we've been getting, uh, they're a lot harder to transform than your average um, figures like these. And it's just nice and refreshing, simple transformations. He does have some beautiful light piping going on in his head if my flashlight doesn't die. Um, as you can see, it turns a nice yellow. Um, it looked more like lime on camera, but trust me, it's just very nice. His cassette uh, tape does work. He has a little button on the side of his shoulder, which whenever you, if you have the uh, cassette cons or the micro masters, you can put them in his chest and uh, whoops, close them up just like that. He can hold both of his guns, and I gotta admit, this just looks cool. If you hold him, if you just pose him right, get him in that sort of stance, that just looks really cool. Um. Now, one thing you'll notice is his hand on um, his hand right here. 
It's molded specifically to look like he is pressing the cassette deck or the cassette button or whatever you want to call that. That is just cool. Like, the fact that that's incorporated into this figure for that specific reason, I gotta give Hasbro credit for that. That was, that's just sheer genius. Um, for articulation, he is well packed with it. Um, he's got rotation at the shoulder, outward at the, uh, so, uh, shoulder, excuse me. Um, his arm does want to come detached right here because it's tabbing in the soft plastic right there. No big deal. Um, he's got a waist rotation, which is awesome for animating. Uh, his head is on a ball joint, so it can look up and down, left and right. He can kick um, that far out, can kick backwards, and if you move the skirt panel out of the way, you can kick forward. Got a good bend at the knee. Thigh swivel can sort of go forward and backward, but that's more for the transformation out of the foot. And then he's got ankle tilt. These Siege figures have all sorts of articulation, and they're just such nice figures. The battle damage on the chest, I gotta admit, it's a little bit overkill. But, I mean, it's just such a nice and clean figure, and it's just a very nice addition to the Siege line. For size comparison, is Soundwave. Skytread, Hound. Yeah, that works for me. Like, Soundwave, I imagine, is like a... Hound just fell over. <laughs> like a bigger, um, beefier character. And I just love this new design for Soundwave. It just looks so good. It just works. The articulation, the light piping, as I mentioned, looks amazing. Why is it turning out lime on camera? That's so weird. Um, <laughs> but uh, he can hold this weapon. You know what? No, I'm not even going back to that. I'll post a picture of what that looks like. Um, just real quick, I want to go over the details of the figure. He is very nicely well detailed and well molded. It's just a nice figure. You got nice paint, uh, some glossy black paint, and then you got the battle damage on his shins. You got some orange paint on the kneecaps, some silver paint, and some yellow paint going on both of these kneecaps, and then some red. Um, you got these nice, this nice little silver, um, silver painted buttons going on uh, for the uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, play buttons. Um, on the chest, I gotta admit the battle damage is a little bit over the top. But I absolutely love it. And that head sculpt. I think this is the best head sculpt we've seen on a Soundwave figure since the Masterpiece uh, Soundwave figure. Like, I'm being dead serious. Like, that is just a spot-on head sculpt. Um, the arms do have a little bit of uh, battle damage on them. But they are nicely uh, painted as well. And it's just a really good figure overall. You got some details going on in the back of the figure. But it's just a very nice figure overall. And I highly, highly recommend getting them if you can. But guys, that's going to wrap it up for this review. I hope you all enjoyed it. If so, be sure to click like, comment, and subscribe. And hit the notification bell so you never miss a video from my channel. That's all for me. Champion Productions, signing off.